Gordon Parks was an American photographer, musician, writer, and film director. He was a famous photojournalist whose works focused mainly on civil rights issues and poverty in relation to African Americans. He worked actively between the years of 1940 and 1970, where these issues were particularly relevant. This photo, titled Red Jackson, Harlem, New York, shot in 1948, is a gelatin sil silver print and was the first photograph in his famous article, Harlem Game Leader. It is currently on display at the MoMA. He spent six weeks following a gang whose trust he had gained to capture emotional, strong, and shocking images of their life on the street. This particular photograph is their leader, Red Jackson. In his article, Gordon Parks describes this photograph with these words. Trapped in an abandoned building by a rival gang on street, Red Jackson ponders his next move. This photograph makes me feel sad, not only for Red Jackson, but for all the young people stuck in the same situation today. Because the picture is in black and white with strong side lighting, this emotion is quickly pulled to the surface due to the somber tone of this image. This work and the rest of the article um, is important to the field of photography because it shows the real gritty side of life that most photographers may be afraid to venture out and find. It adds a new view of life for people who may not have never been in a situation like this. All of the photographs he picked for this article highlighted violence, aggression, and despair. This particular photograph is integrative and ethically evaluative because without a written description of the phot photograph, the viewer would be free to come to a conclusion on what exactly is happening in this photo, and because the subject is the leader of a gang, it spreads social awareness about children living in the streets. The artist's approach is different than all the other photographers because he befriends a gang to get real photos of their lives rather than watching from a distance. The second photo I chose to analyze was from his photo essay titled The Restraints, Open and Hidden, from 1956. This photograph was called Untitled, Shady Grove, Alabama, and is an arch archival pigment print. This image is one of a segregated ice cream shop with two clear signs, one saying white and one saying colored. According to the picture, African American people would have to purchase their ice cream from the side of the shop while white people were able to walk up to the front and order. The colors in this photograph are vibrant, most likely because Gordon Parks chose to focus on quieter moments of inequality and civil rights issues in and around the home. Although this photograph may not seem as dark as the previous one because of its color scheme, its meaning still screams out as strong. This image is important to the field of photography because there is a dumb, double meaning in this picture. Although it shows a loving family out for some ice cream, People like this family had to face inequality in everything they did. It is important for photo articles like this to exist because it con concretes these events in history forever and they still allow for us to look and reflect back on our past. This could also fit in both the interpretive and ethically evaluative categories because the color and text of this photograph allows the viewer to interpret it as they would like, but civil rights issues are very strong in this image. This photo essay is very important to history because he focused on the quiet lives of people affected by the civil rights movement rather than just people fighting, which is what most civil rights photo photographers focused on.